Trees make up a huge portion of what scientists call the world's biomass. So we often talk about the biomass of the forest. All that is is how much do the trees weigh. If you know their biomass, how much they weigh, half of the biomass of a tree is carbon. And knowing exactly how much planet warming carbon is locked in those trees, a process called carbon sequestration, has been something NASA scientists have wanted to do for a long time. It's really critical that we understand what the current carbon content of forests is today. We need a good global map of where the carbon is. And the reason we need that is because whenever we cut down trees, we're going to release carbon into the atmosphere, and we don't know how much carbon we're releasing. And now they are going to get their global map, thanks to this refrigerator-sized satellite that launched in early December and will soon be deployed on the International Space Station. JEDI is a laser altimeter, so it's an active optical instrument. So we have lasers that emit pulses of light. They travel down to the Earth, they get reflected from the Earth, and then we receive the reflection. Exactly measuring that reflection will let scientists determine the exact height and weight of the trees in the forest and in your neighborhood. And knowing that will help scientists discover not only how much carbon is being held in storage, but also things like where there is room to plant more trees and how much carbon deforestation is releasing into the atmosphere. Really, one of the coolest things about JEDI is that we're going to get upwards of 10 billion, 10 billion estimates at how tall trees are. It's highly likely that trees on your block are going to be measured by JEDI. JEDI will be working for the next two years, and will also be monitoring things like melting ice sheets and coastal flooding. Kevin Enix, VOA News.